We hide in the dark, baby. That's where we lay our eggs. Flat tail sticks out behind us, and we walk on our hind legs. We migrate and great herd, sweetheart. In a thundering mass of giants, we protect our young from Truadon. Who'd like to gobble them alive? We got the duck bill, dinosaur blue. father really imagined me uh, with a rock shop on the side of the road, you know, being successful, <laughs> selling rocks and fossils. Because I wanted to be a paleontologist when I was nine. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to be, but I figured a paleontologist, and um, I liked archaeology too. But um, I remember I kept that interest all the way through. Um, school and until I got to high school. My high school, they had a list of careers and I couldn't find paleontology, I couldn't find geology, I couldn't find anything that interests me. So I looked on the list and there was the mortician. So I thought mortician science, hmm, dead bodies, preservation, stuff like that. That's probably the closest thing. So I went, not many, not many kids went to the mortician science. So we had a great time talking about embalming bodies. And, but that was as close as I could get. Paleontology is more than dinosaurs. Um, paleontology deals with prehistoric creatures, prehistoric life, things like that. So remember, Mississippian is the age of crinoids. crinoids, so we should find crinoids. In geology in general, in paleontology in particular, uh, attention to detail is everything. It's a coral. I'm told it's uh, Lithostrocinella oh, yeah. or something very close thereof. So yeah, I'm going to take this down and it'll go to the collections. Found a colonial uh, coral. You can see the really well-defined septa. Ooh, look at this. I show them the great tree of life and say, look, here's the dinosaurs, the one little branch that, you know, it's a it's a multifarious branch, and dinosaurs are nature's special effects, but there's a lot more to it. And I show them that uh, down at the bottom of the tree, there's all these organisms that I study. The other thing that I run into people also, um, they have some doubt about humans' place in the history of life. When you think about it, that humans appear, if you put the history of life in a 24-hour movie, humans appear about... 10 seconds before midnight. <laughs> and so it's very disconcerting and alarming to people to think about most of the history of life, fossils, without humans. And I think a lot of it is based on religion, probably. Tetrapods, this was the first thing that crawled on land. So mass extinctions are really, uh, to me, incredibly important in evolution. And um, we can learn something about our present day crisis because we are in one and there's been five big mass extinctions in the history of life for all uh, measurements that we have it looks like we're in one right now and we don't know it because we are judging our time by human scale and so it goes without saying it seems pretty obvious that the ones that go extinct more often are not the generalists but the specialists so what are we <laughs> Um, people think that we're generalists, but we're specialists. Yeah, we're pretty specialized in what we do. And so in my, in my, my lectures, I show the, I like music and guitars and things, so I show the, the orchestra or the band, you know, and all these players playing and a symphony called the Last Symphony in which during the, I think it's a Hayden symphony, but during each of the, each of the moments of the symphony, a member of the, orchestra steps out and leaves until finally the drums leave and finally just uh, you know, a, a French horn or something like that's left then they leave and it, to me that was very much like a mass extinction they just slowly slowly leave 
they die out and leave, you know? So um, with that in mind, when I give my lectures, I show the one-man band. You know, you've seen this guy, he has, uh, he plays the drum, he plays the guitar, he has all these instruments. He's playing himself, a gazoo, a harmonica, and he does his own band. Well, that's what happened after the mass extinction. The ones that survived were the generals. Thank you.